our early days of practicing happened in Pike Place, finding the most kind of resonant stairwell. We were drawn to these two back lower levels of the market. The natural reverb that happens, there's a hustle and bustle that's really wonderful if people were walking by, just seeing like, okay, when are they stopping and listening? What part? Being able to play out songs live really influenced our early sound. My name is Charity Rose Thielen, and I play with a band called The Head and the Heart. The Head and the Heart is very much a Seattle band. Our introduction was through the open mic here at Hannah Burns. I brought my violin and just improvised with them immediately. For me, it felt very much an extension of Seattle culture and the welcoming openness. We didn't know what we were doing. We weren't strategic. We were so excited to play together and to play anywhere and everywhere. If there was a place with a stage, we really wanted to either symbolically or literally physically get down off the stage so there wasn't this barrier in between. This band's foundation is rooted in family, chosen family, and that collective kind of open invite. Josiah had brought this one song, and he had pretty much all of the lyrics and melody of the, the first part of Rivers and Roads. And it was like a very kinetic, wonderful energy that was happening. I was, you know, on the vocal mic and it just, I remember, I was almost too afraid. Like, should I, I'm feeling this very honest thing. And that phrase, Rivers and Rose, just came to me. And I realized, you know, like, don't let the fear silence you. And so I just started singing. I was channeling something that was beyond myself a little bit. Litho was amazing and we're so excited to be in a, a real record studio. And I guess it's just a I miss your face like hell. Oh. We had really refined and became so confident, essentially, with playing the song live that there was such a certainty recording rivers for the first time. Rivers and roads, all rivers and roads, all rivers till I reach you. Records and songs are an extension of the people who make it. We are definitely a family, and there's dysfunction here and there. <laughs> but as much as we can be patient with one another, the better the music and the art that we produce is. And my vision for this band is that we'll just continue to lean more and more on that collective dynamic that embraces more than just a singular voice. Because live, Tyler will like get up and smash his drum throne or Kenny will put his fists on his upright and Chris will make the bass resonant. It's like the most punk rock I think that we as a folk band could be. I almost reinterpret that phrase and the song differently depending on the night. Yeah, it is longing for home back here in Seattle or it's longing for home which is my two daughters backstage. I'm happy to report that bringing two littles on the road where they're sharing space with the band and crew elevates our approach to having more balanced touring, healthier touring. It's been so incredible to travel. It's one of the most special, unique things. But when you come home to Seattle and the mountains, the air, the water, the spirit, it's like home and you can't really compare it to anywhere else.